What's up guys, Zane here, and welcome back to my channel. Now, it's been a while since I actually made a video, uh, because I've been live streaming the past uh, week or two, to kind of fill in the gap between then and Stormblood. So that's why I haven't really been making any videos as of late. Um, so, in this video, I pretty much just wanted to go over my strategy and my battle plans going into Stormblood. Now there's a lot of things that um, there's going to be to do when the expansion hits. Um, so there's pretty much going to be like a lot of things to do when there's a new patch, like a main story patch or an expansion. I tend to um, shut all communication off and shout any link shells that I have, except for my free company. That way. No one in, sh in sh uh, Shout can ruin the main story or uh, to listen to spam of where to find the Red Mage uh, quest, where to find the Samurai uh, the unlocking job quest, and so on and so forth. And so I can focus on, the, on doing what I want to do with minimal anxiety and overwhelming. Because I do get tend to get overwhelmed and have a lot of anxiety when I, when I do something, I'm so focused looking at chat because everyone's going crazy. So, pretty much what I'm going to do when Stormblood servers go up is one, make samurai and red mage weapons from, uh, from 50 to 60. For those who aren't doing Palace of the Dead, um, I'm going to be making weapons for those two jobs and try to make as much money as I possibly can before people start ruining it. So making samurai and red, red mage weapons is probably number one. After I pretty much exha exhausted all my materials and put the materials up full of weapons, I will continue to take my dragoon into the main story from 60 to 70. I'm going to be um, reading every cutscene, every sentence, every word, every conflict that goes on between 60 to 70, I will be watching it. With that said, I will not be streaming for two weeks until uh, I pretty much complete the main story. I don't want to ruin the main story for nobody. I feel like that um, the story should be viewed and experienced by everyone individually, not through someone else. So I won't be streaming Stormblood at all for two weeks. Uh, as for videos, unlocking Red Mage and Samurai are probably going to be the first ones I make. I'll probably make videos about um, some of the, the job um, gauges, uh, how, uh, what they do, how to read them, stuff like that. Most likely for Samurai, Warrior, and my, uh, I mean not Samurai, Summoner, Dragoon, and Warrior I'll most likely will be showing you guys exactly what... Um, the stuff means that's on that's on the gauges. So pretty much after I do dra my Dragon of Seventy to the main store and everything, um, I'm most likely going to be going to level up my crafters and my gatherers to seventy. Most likely, miner will be first, botany will be second, fisher will be third, and I'll be leveling up my crafters as I level up my miner and my botanist. Money won't be more my top priority. I have almost 200,000 right now. Whatever I get for making the weapons, that's what I go with. I won't be really worried about making any money for quite some time because my focus is on leveling more than anything else. So after I get my gatherers and crafters and all that to 60 and 70 and all that, I will most likely be going into the red mage and samurai jobs leveling them up and giving them a try. If I don't like either one of them, then I will most likely postpone really doing them. But I highly doubt that I won't like them because they look pretty simple. I'm on my huge uh, melee buff, so a samurai might be right up my alley. A red mage doesn't seem to be too complicated. 
but that could my view can, about that can change when I actually get into them. So pretty much after that's all done, uh, I'm most likely going to be doing my summoner, then my warrior next. But all this can will probably be subject to change. I don't really know if I'm going to follow my own rules. A lot of times I just don't do any of this stuff first, and it's like getting used to um, the the new cities or just checking. Um, checking everything out and everything so I might just like take all the atmosphere in before I do anything but the, the fear that I have is that I'm hoping the heavens ward was launch was actually pretty um, smooth it didn't have any problems so I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, stormblood will be the same but I'm really hoping that everything does go according to plan because the past few uh, patch updates my PlayStation wasn't really updating it, and so I had a, like a lot of problems with that. So hopefully, my installation, everything will be as smooth as possible. So above all, everything else, panicking will probably be number one. Um, of course, I will be doing Heaven's Word content again as well, like Wonders Tales. Uh, well, of course, that won't be. Um, on, that will probably be the week after, the Tuesday after Stormblood launches. And pretty much doing everything else that I uh, usually would do in Heaven's Orb, doing the Beast Tribes and stuff like that. So, uh, for about four weeks after the launch, is going to be the the, uh, the raids going to be coming out, the to new tomes will be coming out, and everything. And I would probably jump on that as fast as possible to get the new um, tome gear for dra for probably. Because we're getting artifact what um, gear and all that, um, I probably won't have to really worry about. I'm using the uh, new tomes, but um, we'll see how we'll see how it goes when uh, the new. Because with the the raid and the tour, uh, tome tomes coming out, I might do tomes for dragoon, but I might do summoner and warrior through the raid. But we'll see what uh, when that cut time comes. So basically that is my uh, battle plan for Stormblood that comes out. Again, all this will, will probably be subject to change depending how excited I am when Friday comes. So there will be videos. I probably will be on um, probably will be making Samurai and Remage unlocking videos immediately. So um, most likely uh, be ready for those two. And so pretty much I don't really know what they're gonna be adding in Stormblood when it besides everything I mentioned here So I don't know what they're gonna be adding in besides all this, but I'm super excited To, to find out what Stormblood it will have in store for us. I'm really excited to find out what items we'll be getting f f to gather I'm definitely looking forward to underwater um, spearfishing um, underwater mining so it should be really, really excited. I'm super excited. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sleep a Thursday night, but I will probably take a nap beforehand and probably wake up when the servers go live. So guys, that is going to be my battle plan for Stormblood. Um, as of right now, I probably won't be streaming from now until the two-week embargo is over. So, um, I already did a lot of my live stream for today. Uh, I think Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah, when uh, Thursday is the maintenance. So, next three days, I'm just going to chill, relax, play the game, do more store blood prep. And I'm currently working on my Black Mage right now because I'm just kind of like board right now so I'm gonna probably level black mage so I'll probably get that to 60 before the expansion but that is going to be my uh, battle plan for Stormblood so guys that is going to be it for this video um, don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy 14 videos and for upcoming Stormblood videos you guys don't want to miss any of those alright guys so there isn't much else to say, so hopefully um, everything goes smoothly and uh, 
uh, expansion uh, launches. Alright guys, so um, until next time, may you all walk in the light of Lord Bahama. Take care guys.